Y'all, I just finished doing some laundry and I have all of this stuff on this countertop that I'm kind of tired of, tired of looking at, but I wanted to do a quick haul before I put it away. I don't know exactly where I want everything, so right now I'm just gonna put it in the closet until I can figure that out, but again, I did not want to put it away until I share. It's just a few things um, I picked up for the kitchen. We still have other few more pieces that we need to get to kind of pull everything together as it pertains to the rest of our space, but I have started picking up a few things for the kitchen and just wanted to quickly share. There are some random things that's kind of here and there in this video as well and just wanted to share. Speaking of random, the first random thing, when I did my um, my drapes and I was using the hemming tape and ironing, I had a couple of comments about my iron. Where did I get my iron? If I'm not mistaken, I picked this up from, I think it was Target. And it's, what'd you say, Target? Target, this Black & Decker Elite Pro Series Steam Iron. Okay, I can't even remember how much it was. And oftentimes, I forget to mention things like this because some of you will ask. Um, but this is the iron. If you want to maybe screenshot that, that way you can see exactly what I got or where I got it from. Like I said, I think it was Target. A couple of more random things. I do love consignment shopping. And I was in a consignment store a couple of weeks ago and picked up these two random items. And when I say random, I mean random. Some of you know exactly, when you see this, you're gonna know exactly why I had to grab this. This just, this little wooden weeping willow tree was so cute. If you know, you know. <laughs> For those of you that do not know, my mom loved weeping willow trees. And when I saw this, of course, I immediately thought of her and could not leave it. So I grabbed this cute little weeping willow tree. Have a little piece of my mommy here with me. And uh, random, this little apple. It's glass, has the metal stem and leaves that have a little touch of gold on the edge. Just random, I liked it. So I grabbed this too. Okay, now this is something that I've never shared. I thought it was the absolute sweetest. I received this card in the mail and I received this card several months ago. I want you all to just look at that. And if you if you pay attention to the details on this card, look at the spice, look at the extract, um, the cake flour, the measuring cup, especially this one here. This was one of, of course, wash your hands. Wash your hands, babies. But this was one of the sweetest cards that I've ever received. It is a handmade card. Thank you so much, Miss Judy and Mom. And in this card, she makes mention of her mom that turned just turned 101 years old and she was amaz an amazing baker as well. She talked about how I inspired her. This is the daughter. She said we haven't had 
homemade pound cake for many years, but thanks to your inspiration, I gave it a try. She tried the recipe for the cream cheese pound cake um, in her mom's cake pan and measuring spoons from the 1940s when she got married. She said that it came out so good, everyone enjoyed it. And then she ends this sweet card by saying, please continue making videos. You are touching the hearts of so many people, making us laugh and creating new bakers. You put a smile on the face of a 101 year old former baker. Wishing you health and happiness always. Judy, when I tell you this is so sweet, um, the fact that this is my mother's measuring cup and she knows that my favorite spice because it reminds me of my mom is nutmeg. She included the nutmeg. Thank you, baby. That's dude number one spoon. <laughs> she included the nutmeg and the cream bouquet. Oh my goodness. Swans down, the wash your hands sign, and she signed the bottom of it. But this is so incredibly sweet. Thank you, Miss Judy. Sending love to you and your sweet mama. Thank you so much. This is so precious. So I said all that to say, I purchased this little gold frame and I'm gonna put this inside this frame so I can have it here in my studio kitchen as well. Um, you guys, when I looked at this, it y'all already know, it made me cry. This is so, so thoughtful and so sweet. It just, oh my goodness, touched my heart, okay? All right, now back to random. I think this is the last, I'm hoping this is the last random things. Yes, Jack Rocks, Jack's in the box. <laughs> My husband and I, uh, when we first got married, I remember sitting in the floor and a hardwood floor where you come in our home, sitting there and we were playing Jack Rocks. I used to love Jack Rocks as a kid. So I figured sometime while we are here, then we'll do some Jack Rock so I can bank his, you know what, in Jack Rocks, right? <laughs> so definitely random, but hey, add that to the list of random things. Okay, now back to the kitchen stuff. There were, it's been several, several months now, quite some time. Um, because our YouTube family members, they know how much I love iridescent stuff. They started sending me iridescent stuff. <laughs> and this is one of many iridescent items that I received. It's six of these, you all. Six of these, again. They were at home and I had several iridescent items. I was just trying to figure out cups. I was just trying to figure out, okay, when, I think I had a couple of, I had at least two of these already because when I saw them at Walmart, I love them. And they are the Better Homes and Gardens line. So when I saw them, I grabbed a couple and then I received more. So I decided to bring these to our home away from home so I can use them here. It definitely prevented me from having to buy cups and stuff for here, okay? I don't know exactly where I want to put everything yet, so I'm trying to get these countertops cleared off and then I've already washed down the cabinets and I've washed the inside of the cabinets. But I'm, again, I'm not sure where I want to put certain things. But in the meantime, I'm just going to put them over here in the closet. And then I can figure out where I want to use them. In addition to the iridescent cups, 
So you guys are amazing. I was also sent this iridescent grater. That's wrapped very well. So, one less thing I have to buy. Isn't that nice? So we're adding this over here. Do number one, can you just say hey everybody? Was that a whisper? I received a couple of pair of iridescent scissors. These are the ones that look like a butterfly. The handles mimic a butterfly. So I decided to bring this pair to our home away from home. Leave the other pair at home. Measuring cup set. I, this is the Time and Table brand at Walmart. I love that brand, you guys. Okay. So these are the stainless steel measuring cups. And more measuring cups. Y'all are the sweetest. So again, some items that I didn't have to purchase. And then we have our... I just purchased some little regular um, plastic measuring cups. And sometimes when I'm measuring certain things, it's like I need two one cup measuring cups or two two cup measuring cups. So I got a, two of the two cups and two of the one cups. And then this is the this is the four cup. I like it. I know dude number one, you're gonna be glad to see the stuff off this countertop, aren't you? Oh. Yes, 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 sir. Trying to be y'all, he's trying to look at TV with it turned down really low. And it's still not paying me any attention. Now I did purchase these measuring cups and spoons because they were gray with the gold accent on the handles and the measuring spoons, okay? As y'all know, we're going to be doing some baking down here. Baking and a cooking and a cooking and a baking. Another one of our YouTube families. I think I received a couple of boxes of these tight ceiling clamps. that are also iridescent. So I left some at home and then brought some here. I think they got tired of seeing me because honey, I close a powdered sugar bag or sugar bag or any kind of bag in a minute with some clothes pins. <laughs> so I think one of our family members got tired of looking at, looking at clothes pins. Uh, is that it for measuring stuff? I think it is, okay. Another one of our YouTube family members some time ago sent me this bacon grease can. Green is my favorite color, so I'm sure that's why it's green. And I decided to bring that here with me too. And I'm not worried about if things don't necessarily go with my decor because I want to try, to, for the most part, to keep my countertops clear. So the majority of this stuff is gonna be behind the cabinet door. So it's not that serious to where everything had to be matchy-matchy. If, if I purchased something, I tried to make sure I stayed within either the black, um, the gold, the wood. Black, gold, wood, white. It's gonna have one of the four elements in whatever I purchased, okay? Um, these were given to me by one of my best friends and I decided to bring these little mini silicone spatulas. I love using these too. Let's see. 
I think I had already showed you these plates, these plates we got from the dollar store. So my thought process with the plates, because we won't have a table set up here, we have a bar area right here on the island. Um, the sink is right here on this island. But <clears throat> I found these were on clearance. I'm trying to remember where at Ross. These were on clearance, the black with the gold specks. I thought they were really pretty. If you can see that gold detail. So I'm gonna sit, of course, these on top of the black, um, the placemats. I wanna have a little, just a little for decor purposes, um, just have it staged or set up at the bar stools, okay? That, these, oh, I meant to tell you too. I meant to tell you this at the beginning. I want you to put in the comments, I purchased something in the food category. And I want you to tell me before I show it to you, what you think the first food item, making sure that camera's on. Uh, tell me what you think the first piece of food or kind of food item that I purchased for our home away from home. Go on and put that in the comments if you think you know. And then I'll let you know towards the end of this video, okay? Okay, okay. All right. I purchased these six nylon tools. They are high heat resistant, of course, because they are black and the handles are gold. And I got these from Marshalls. All right. This is a garlic press that I picked up just in case I need it. You never know. I do like cooking certain dishes with garlic, black and gold. And we have this ice cream scoop. We'll definitely need an ice cream scoop. It's gold and white. Babe, we need an ice cream scoop? Mm -hmm. Yep. So, and this was from Marshall's. Yeah, see how it's made. Should make it easy to scoop that ice cream out, okay? Hand towels <clears throat> or kitchen towels. These are the Better Home Homes and Gardens brand. I love the little black and white detail. Kitchen towels. And it came with two in the little pack. And then these, these were from Walmart, the Better Homes and Garden brand. And these were from uh, Marshalls. It's three in here. I gravitated towards the hearts. So it's two of hand towels with the hearts. And then there's one that's just a solid black. Again, pick these up from Marshalls. These are some frayed napkins that were also given to, given to me by my best friend as well. And I'm gonna use these with them. Perfect, okay. Uh, to go with the, ooh, to go with the, um, Napkins. I'm just going to use these wooden rings. Bring out the wood. You're looking for something back. <laughs> wooden rings. You can pop in and say, hey. 
And these are some marble coasters. Of course, I was trying to go with the colors of the quartz countertops. And I purchased, picked these up from Marshall. They are, they are heavy too, okay? But that marble was so pretty. Okie dokie. Let's see, let me move these over here. And this is a little, <clears throat> this little kitchen pantry organizer turntable with the gold and the wooden. I thought it was cute, y'all. It was cute. This is a Marshall's find as well. I'm just loving the wood and gold accents. Right? Y'all see y'all see y'all see my vision. You see what I'm doing? Ooh. Okay, and then I have a cup three tray that's expandable by the Better Homes and Gardens. Wooden tray. Oh, the countertops look so much better, don't they? Yes. Can we get all this stuff off the countertops? Then. This is a Rachel Zoe picture. It was on clearance at Marshall's. I thought it was pretty because it has that gold detail. When we feel like we want to be fancy. doing so with the TV not paying me any attention along with the Rachel Zoe set of wine glasses that will house our sparkling ciders and any type of sparkling Welch's drink or juice um, we don't do any type of alcoholic beverages not knocking those of you that do but if at any time you see any type of beverage in a wine glass, it is non-alcoholic. So, I thought these were so pretty with the picture. Isn't that pretty? And then, y'all, that is so pretty. One of our YouTube family members. I think it was Miss D. There wasn't from Miss D. She wanted to celebrate with us on our new getaway. And she told me eat. She said, enjoy your housewarming gift. Eat, drink, whatever you like in parentheses and be married for Miss D. So she said these beautiful champagne glasses that are iridescent. Miss D, thank you so much. I'm going to show you how pretty they are. I think I took one of them out. They are so dainty. Oh, Lord, here he come. Mm -hmm. Baby, back up. Don't touch your hair. Are you going to say something? Now you want to talk to us. Well, no, fam, let me, let me say this. Now I'm 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 doing the dad thing. Uh -huh. I'm standing. Uh, trust me, I'm, it's always something. Uh -huh. You never rest with it. It's nice. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's iridescent. Where you yeah. put an ice cream float in there? You can put whatever you want to put it. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's so pretty. And it's iridescent. Ooh, y'all. She is iridescent. So This is beautiful. Miss D, thank you so much. What you doing, babe? Okay, wait a minute. Let me wrap this back up. Um, I know, actually, I think I do want to leave this out because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the other one out too. We're going to sit this over here. Where 
it's safe. And I should have showed you guys this when I did um, the tray, but our stainless steel 20 piece set that was on clearance. Gold. On clearance at Marshall's. Has four salad forks, four dinner forks, four dinner knives, dinner spoons, and four teaspoons. Look like a large teaspoon. Anyway. Back to that, that gold. Ooh. Oh. Let's see. Ooh. Then. These are marble. These little stands. They are quite heavy. I love the marble print. And I got two of them. A larger one and a small one. Okay, these are from let's say Marshall. Marshalls. Oh, Marshalls as well. Love the gold accent at the bottom. Ooh, and they are heavy. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, some silicone sponges from Marshalls as well. Silicone sponges. I can put these down here. everything and then we have random I like these honey stirs this one is lemon honey this one is clover honey I like to use these oftentimes in my if I'm doing hot tea especially during those times where I'm having challenges respiratory challenges or cold and I'm drinking a hot tea love using these in my hot tea okay Now, back to the question of, I think that's everything. Back to the question of what do you all think was the first kind of piece of food that I bought? I wish I could get some of y'all. Just gonna have to look at these comments. See if y'all think y'all know Miss Donna. I'm taking these pla placemats loose because I wanted you all to see my vision, what I want to do with it. Wait. My first piece of food. Yeah, this is how I'm going to set my little place setting up at um, my little bar area. Y'all done guessing? I mean, I ain't bought no, no, I ain't bought no brochures now, but that I, I bought this right here and did <laughs> and did. Don't have my pots yet, so we're not quite ready to cook. I do know so that right there. These have to stay out of the way where they are safe. Okay. So those will be back there. But these, I think I'm going to put them right here with the
that's how that'll look from there. So that's what we're gonna be looking like once I get that done. I think. All right. Okay. So you all are finished commenting about what you think the first kind of food I bought. And let me know if if you were right. You better know it. Got my grits. Let me know if you were right. Bought some grits. That was the first thing. The other day I did buy some peanut butter and jelly just in case we need to eat some bread. Just in case we need to do some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But grits already on deck. Already on deck. So you guys, uh, that's it. I did want to, let me show you really quickly when we went and did plant shopping where I put my plants and I want us to kind of follow, especially the fiddle leaf fig to see um, how it grows, okay? So this is the fiddle leaf fig and I've heard that they can be real funny. Once you get them in a spot, they don't like to be moved. So this is where we are, and I'm gonna kind of measure how it grows based on the light switch. So you guys see it's about the same, you know, we're kind of right here with the light switch. So that way I can kind of see, you know, how it grows. And then over here on the other end of the sofa, we have this one. And I'm trying not to overwater, trying to let them get pretty, you know, pretty dry before I water. And this is the last one here that's just sitting on the end of the countertop. So I'm wanting it to hopefully kind of trail down and just start running down the side of the wine rack okay all right you guys well that's it and i like i said i think i said it before but just in case i haven't i think this is really the last haul everything else i think you'll just kind of see when you see it so just wanted to share these few things as we are still getting our home away from home together you guys i think that's it well if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you've not subscribed please consider doing so and turning on that notification bell he can't say hit the nosy because he's in there talking to one of our children but hit the nosy y'all that's turning on that notification bell that way you'll be notified whenever we're doing whatever it is we're doing over here thank you all so much for watching we already look forward to you joining us again next time bye